Alright, number six. It's just in a different form, but it's the same thing on division. We're gonna start with our box and do opposite of this. So we get positive two. We're gonna check and make sure this is in order. X to the third, X squared, X to the first, constant. And then we wanna drop coefficients. So one, negative seven, negative 13, and five. We start by dropping the first. Multiply. 2 times 1 is 2. And now we add down. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 5. We start over. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Add down. Negative 13 plus 10 is negative 23. I'm going to multiply. 2 times negative 23 is a negative 46. Add down, and this is our first one that has a remainder. Okay, now we drop our original polynomial is a third degree. Um, so our answer is going to be, a starts with a second, and I keep going until I have any more x squared and x, and then no x. So this is, sometime in course compass, it's written as 1x squared minus 5x minus 23 and it'll say remainder and you would say negative 41 okay sometimes course compass asks for it like this when it has the word remainder or the other way they like the answer is if you combine it all together and you get x squared minus 5x minus 23 minus 41 over your original x minus 2 okay so it depends on the format course compass asks you for uh, it's going to either be this way or this way when you have a remainder okay number seven when we set this up we're going to have a two here now this is really 4x squared plus 0x minus nine so we have to make sure it's in order and no missing variables so we have four we have to represent that zero and negative nine if you fail to put the zero as a placeholder it messes up the whole problem so that's usually where people make their mistake so here we go we got four two times four is eight add down zero plus eight is eight now we're going to multiply again. 2 times 8 is 16. Add down and we have a remainder of 7. Go back and look at your original, which was an x squared, so go 1 less. x to the first. And this answer is going to be 4x plus 8 plus my remainder of 7 over x minus 2. Number eight, we're going to do the same way. Five. X to the fourth, third, second, X to the first, constant. So it's already in order. I just need to drop the coefficients. So two, negative 13, 16, a negative nine, and a 20. We start out by dropping our first. Five times two is... 10 add down negative 13 plus 10 is negative 3 we start over and we say 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 add down and we get 1 5 times 1 is 5 add down negative 9 and 5 is negative 4 then we multiply 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 add down for a remainder of zero go back to your original problem and it's a fourth degree so we're going to go to a third degree so it's x to the third x squared x no x so our answer is going to be 2x to the third minus 3x squared plus x minus 4 and we have no remainder so we don't have to write anything in there Number nine, 
this is really y cubed plus 0y squared plus 0y minus 8. So when we start this out, this is going to be a positive 2, because we do opposite. And then we've dropped coefficients, a 1, a 0, a 0, and then a negative 8. Do not forget to put zeros for placeholders. Multiply, 2 times 1 is 2, add down, 0 plus 2 is 2. Multiply, 2 times 2 is 4, add down. 0 plus 4 is 4, then we're going to multiply 2 times 4 is 8, add down, we have a remainder of 0. Our original is a third degree, so our answer is going to start with a second. So this becomes y squared plus 2y plus 4. And then our last and final one is number 10. We're going to check all of our points. We have a x cubed, x squared, x constant. However, this is a 2, so we said we want them to be 1, so the first thing we need to do is divide everything by 2. Divide everything in the whole entire problem by 2 and rewrite it. So this becomes x cubed, 2x cubed, plus 7 half, x squared, plus 4x plus 10 divided by x plus 2. Okay, we start over to check. x to the third, x squared, x, no x. This is now a 1. We can go ahead and start our synthetic. Drop the coefficients. Bring down the first term. Multiply. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Add down. I'm going to come off to the side and add this right here. In case you're not that good with fractions, so I'm going to say 7 halves and negative 4 over 1. I need a common denominator of a 2, so I'm going to say times 2 and then times 2 there, so it's negative 8 halves. Uh, now that I have a common denominator, I can add numerators and get negative 1 over 2. So this becomes negative 1 over 2. And I want to multiply. The negative times a negative is a positive, and 2 times 1 half is 1, so positive 1. Now 4 plus 1 is 5. Now multiply negative 2 times 5 is a negative 10. Add down. If my original degree is a third degree, my dividend is a third degree, then my answer is going to be 1 less than that. So it's going to be x squared. x. So 2x squared minus 1 half x plus 5 is going to be solution. We're going to finish with just a helpful hint, and it says before you divide using synthetic, write the dividend in descending order according to the variable. That's what we've been checking. Any missing powers of the variable must be represented by zero times the variable. Okay, raised to the missing power.